let's get right into it. If your goal is to become a cloud engineer by 2026, then you are in exactly the right place. We're about to break down a super clear, actionable strategy, complete with free resources and labs to get you there. Let's do it. You know, it's a story we hear all the time, right? You start your cloud journey, you're full of energy, and then, bam, you hit this massive wall of complexity. So the big question is, how do you actually master this stuff without getting totally overwhelmed? Well, we're gonna answer that right now. To find the right solution, we first have to really understand the problem. And it turns out there are two huge common traps that derail most people who are trying to become cloud engineers. Let's break them down. So on one side, you've got just sheer overwhelm. I mean, platforms like AWS and Azure have hundreds of services. If you don't have a focus, you'll try to learn everything at once and just completely burn out. Then on the other side, there's the I forgot everything problem. Even if you manage to learn something new every day, how in the world do you remember what you learned three weeks ago when you're in a high pressure interview? Both of these traps, they lead to the exact same result, quitting. But listen, there is a much better way. The solution isn't about working harder, it's about learning smarter. It's a simple two-part strategy that is specifically designed to help you dodge those common traps. And here it is. The winning formula is dead simple. First, you follow a structured roadmap. That way you know exactly what to learn and in what order. Second, you use project-based learning to make sure all that knowledge actually sticks in your brain. This combination is the absolute key. Okay, let's dig into that first part, the structured roadmap. Think of this as your GPS through the vast, sometimes confusing landscape of cloud services. It ensures you're building your knowledge logically, right from the ground up. This roadmap breaks the whole journey into three manageable stages. You start with the fundamentals, storage, IAM, that's identity and access management, networking, and compute. These are the pillars of the cloud. From there, you move on to intermediate topics like containers and databases, and then finally, you get to the really powerful advanced stuff like automation and serverless. This step-by-step -step progression makes it all feel achievable. But you know, a roadmap is only half the equation. To truly, deeply master the cloud, you have to apply what you've learned. You've got to get your hands dirty. And that brings us to the second and honestly, the most critical part of the strategy, hands-on practice. So the obvious question is, how do you get this experience if you don't have a job yet? Well, this is where an amazing resource comes in. It's the 100 Days of Cloud Challenge by CodeCloud. It's a platform designed from the ground up for this exact kind of project-based learning. And here's the best part, I mean, really, it's completely free. The entire platform, including all the hands-on lab environments for both AWS and Azure, is available at zero cost. You get to play in a real cloud environment without ever needing to pull out a credit card. So what makes this whole approach so effective? Well, first, every single task has real world context, so you understand the why behind what you're doing. The lab environments are free, which is huge. The challenges get harder over time to keep you growing, and it covers both AWS and Azure, perfect for building a multi-cloud skill set. This is a perfect example of what I mean by real world context. You're not just told, hey, create a key pair. Instead, you're dropped into a scenario. You're part of a DevOps team. You have a business problem you need to solve. This is how you learn to think like an engineer, not just a student following instructions. So here's the crucial point. Project-based learning isn't about completing a bunch of random disconnected tutorials. It's about learning by doing tasks that have a genuine purpose and a real business context. This method is a game changer for memory retention and gives you powerful stories to tell in job interviews. And you can see the progression right here. On day one, you might start with a fundamental task, like creating a key pair. By day 25, you're handling a data migration from the command line. And by day 50, you could be managing a whole Kubernetes cluster with Amazon EKS. The platform guides you perfectly up this learning curve. So we've covered the traps and we've covered the solution. Now let's just put it all together into an actionable plan you can start today. Here is your path forward. First, commit to that three-stage roadmap. Go from beginner to intermediate to advanced. Second, complete just one hands-on lab from the 100 Days of Cloud Challenge each day. This consistency is what builds momentum. And the result? You won't just have certifications. You'll have real, practical, interview-ready skills that companies are absolutely desperate for. So that's the strategy. It's structured, it's practical, and it's proven to work. 
The only thing left to do is start. So I'll leave you with this question. With this new path right in front of you, what cloud problem will you solve first? You want to be a cloud engineer by 2026? That is an awesome goal. But if you're serious about mastering platforms like AWS or Azure and actually nailing those interviews, you can't just wing it. Nope, you need a solid strategy. So let's dive into a proven one. But first, let's just get real for a second. Have you ever started learning cloud, you're super excited, and then a few weeks in, you just feel stuck? If that sounds familiar, trust me, you are not alone. So what is it? Why do so many of us hit that wall? Well, it turns out the answer isn't about a lack of effort or motivation. The issue is much deeper. It's a fundamental problem with how we're all trying to learn cloud in the first place. In fact, it really just boils down to two main reasons why people feel like giving up on their cloud journey. Just two, but man, they are massive hurdles to overcome. Okay, first up is the classic information overload. You log into the AWS console for the first time and bam, it's this tidal wave of hundreds of services with these crazy cryptic names. Where do you even start, right? So you try to learn it all and you just burn out. And the second one is just as frustrating. You forget what you learned. You spend hours on a service, you feel like you've got it, and then three weeks later, you're in an interview and your mind just goes blank. It's a total confidence killer. All right, so how do we fix this? The good news is there is a clear two-part strategy that is specifically designed to tackle these problems head on and really set you up for success. And you know what? The solution is beautifully simple. It's not about memorizing hundreds of services. It's about combining two incredibly powerful ideas, having a structured, focused roadmap and getting real, hands-on, project-based practice. So here's the key. Think of it like a two-step dance. Step one, follow a roadmap that tells you exactly what to learn and when, no more guessing. Step two, you immediately take that knowledge and you apply it in realistic projects. Let's break down what that actually looks like. First, let's talk about that structured learning roadmap. This is basically your GPS through the wild jungle of cloud services. It keeps you focused on only what you need to know to get hired. Now, the absolute smartest way to approach this is to break the whole journey into three manageable levels, beginner, intermediate, and then advanced. This stops you from trying to boil the ocean and make sure you're building your knowledge on a really solid, logical foundation. And this is where that focus really kicks in. At the beginner level, you are all in on the four core pillars, storage, compute, networking, and IAM, which is just a fancy way of saying who gets to do what in your account. These are the absolute must-know fundamentals. Once you have those down, you build on top of them with intermediate topics, like running apps and containers or managing databases. Only then, once all that is solid, do you move on to the really advanced stuff like automation and serverless. See, you're building up layer by layer. Okay, let's get to the second part of our strategy. And honestly, this is the real game changer. Project-based, hands-on practice. This is how you actually make the knowledge stick in your brain for good. And here's why this is so powerful. When you learn this way, you don't just learn the what, like the steps to create a key pair. You learn the how, and maybe most importantly, the why it's even needed in a real-world project. This slide just nails the difference. The old way is a sterile, boring task. Create a key pair. Okay, why? The project-based way gives you a story. The Nautilus DevOps team is moving to AWS and needs a secure way for engineers to access the servers. Your job is to create the key pair to make that happen. Ah, see the difference? Now the task has meaning, it has purpose, and that context is what makes the knowledge stick and it's what gives you incredible stories to tell in your interviews. So you're probably asking, where can I get this kind of experience? Well, there's a fantastic free resource called the 100 Days of Cloud Challenge from CodeCloud. It works for both AWS and Azure. And here's the best part. It gives you a real live lab environment. That means you don't have to worry about setting up your own cloud account or getting some crazy surprise bill at the end of the month. And what's really cool is that this challenge is designed to grow with you. You might start on day one with a fundamental task, like creating a key pair. But by day 25, you're tackling something like a data migration. And by day 50, you're scaling Kubernetes clusters, a super powerful tool for managing modern applications. This steady ramp up in complexity keeps you challenged and constantly leveling up your skills. So when you put these two pieces together, the structured roadmap and that hands-on project-based practice, what you get is a powerful, clear, direct path to success. So let's just recap what this approach really does for you. It completely solves that information overload problem by giving you laser focus. It dramatically improves how much you remember because you're actually learning by doing. 
it builds the practical skills that you can talk about with confidence in an interview, and best of all, it gives you a clear, actionable plan so you always know what to do next. So there you have it, a clear strategy, a focused roadmap, and even free resources to get you started. The path is all laid out for you. The only real question left is, when does your journey begin?